I was thinking about building a watchtower over yonder. Do you think that would help the, the help the villagers feel safer? That's a good idea. Come on. I can't even get up. Oh. Sure me? I suppose that's all right, but why did you come to such a dangerous place all by yourself? Damn. You know what? Follow the mini map. smart actually. That will tell me where to go. I just need to worry about the enemies getting in the way. I just need to actually kill some. I need to kill you guys because you're just in the way. Alright, you're right. You're in the way and you're breaking off my uh, focus. So there's some right here. Kill this guy. Kill him dead. I would if I could. So there's an item over here. Okay, I'm still up here. Nope, never mind. Ow. Why are they down there fighting? They're supposed to be up here with me. But they're down there, so around. And I knew that was gonna happen. Oh god damn it, Adam. Can you you should be able to get revived from the statue. Okay, thank god. Yeah! My turn now! Okay, so now just follow this. I'm on the fucking get edge. Away, come on. These guys need to back off. I'm trying to figure crap out here, and I don't need them on me. Oh, why am I doing that, though? That's so stupid. If I'm doing that, I should be doing this. I think we forgot about it. But Adol learned another new skill. Force Edge. Oh, dang, it lights the place up a little. I don't know what you're hitting. But anyway. Okay, so we're on here now. Just let them do the fighting. Just let them do the fighting, it doesn't matter. I 
guess I'll go back just so I can get that all back up. Let's go. My turn now. Damn it. Don't I have a brightness setting on my TV? Settings. I got the settings thingy opening up right now. Uh, brightness. It is originally at 50, so I'm gonna put it all the way to 100. It hardly helps. No, it doesn't actually help at all. Put it back. Contrast isn't going to do anything. Okay. That was a stupid idea, because it did nothing for me. Fight it. Swap off. No, swap off. Would you stop swapping now? Do not kill me. We're actually just gonna go through with this, and I'm gonna revive that. He'll be fine. He just needs to walk away. Oh, I could fall from there? Oh, god damn it, dude. I didn't think it was. Well, I just wasted an item. Fuck. What's the reason to even use that one item? Definitely gets very dark over here. I can tell you that much. God damn it. Just have to. How? <laughs> Why? What? Uh. So I guess you get trophies for actually running around as a certain character long enough. So I just got the trophy, the red hair adventure, for running around as Adol for a long time. I guess I should maybe actually play as other characters longer than... Oh, I'm falling. I'm trying to follow the mini-map and not where the characters are going. Oh, I'm afraid of falling, I'm afraid of falling, I'm afraid of falling. Go towards the enemy. Now just move, just walk. Don't worry about the damage that they do at all. Just don't. I'll be honest, I'm starting to get a teensy bit of my own night vision in this place. Ooh, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like this part. No, 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 calm down, calm down, calm down, calm, calm down. He's running off the table. Oh, 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 we made it! What is all this? Milky white vein. What a superb view. Interesting. Okay then. Well, I now see how this is gonna have to go. Wait, I thought he had the great ram. What happened? Well, either way, um. Yeah, now I'm not gonna go running around as Adol anymore. I'm gonna run around as, uh, Laxia. So I can get her trophy. But I made it! Get all these nice materials! 
I suppose it isn't worth much, but hey, I got that, so this place is good. I don't think I ever need to come back in here again. Yeah, I should be done here. Figure out the wide map. Yeah, that's done. Don't need to come back here. Very good. Very good indeed. Let's get out of this place. I'm gonna save if I could do an actual save after that. You know, I honestly thought that the thoroughly explored with this character and stuff trophy was like, um, for leveling them up to max level, but I guess not. Do we even hear the music? Hold on, we're just gonna have to make do with the music being right here. Yeah. 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 Or maybe. Right there! Right there! Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? I think these are good. Alright, very good, very good. I think these audio options are better. Oh, come on, Sahad, smack it up more. Oh, you know what? Maybe I just won't mess with that anymore. What? I don't know what the. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Examine. <laughs> Looks like all this is washed up debris. Must be a wreckage from the ship. We might be able to use some of this for the old watchtower. Yes, you might be right. Let's just hope nothing... Please don't come all the way out here. Please don't. Please don't. Like, Waxia needs some healing. She needs a moment to herself. If you'll let her have it. <laughs> what are you giggling for? Wouldn't have even figured that'd be one of her idle sounds. Would be a laugh. All right. Okay, let's go. I don't know what those are, and I don't care to. Must be like sand sharks. Sand, land, just a shock. This goes to a different place. Hmm. Yeah, why not go there? But it's charge level two, yes. Not that again. Let's just run by it. Yeah. 
Reload that save. Funny how I'm maxing out some of these skills and they're just gonna be forgotten about anyway. Power mention should be around here somewhere. I think he was talking about these rocks. Let's see. These rocks are rather dense and durable. I think these will do just fine. Guess the bird knew what he was talking about. So we're just leaving it here? I thought we were yeah. actually grabbing things. Second, gotta get our health back first. that guy <laughs> it would appear to be another castaway let's go excuse me damn it always a phone call. okay hello I'm telling you he's just gonna walk and not care Some people are like that. Now see here. Were you a passenger aboard the Lombardia? We were passengers too, and now we're stranded on this deserted island. Not my problem. Wow. Huh? Hey! Hold on. Where do you... Hmm. Where do you think you're going? Somewhere. Oh, really now? You can at least tell us your name. Hummel. I'm a transporter. Hummel. Who names their kid Hummel? Well, we're not going to be having him on our team for a while with his attitude. Such a vexing man. <laughs> At least he doesn't beat around the bush. I don't know about that. I very much doubt he's interested in anything we have to say. 
While we're heading the same way, I'm sure we'll run into him again. <laughs> Transporter, huh? What an odd kid. You don't get to call others odd. At any rate, the sun has begun to set. We should look for a place to make camp. Hmm. Camp, huh? They probably want us to go in there. I suppose we should. This area seems to be free of beasts, Mr. Kristen. Uh, then we should probably set up camp here, don't you think? Yeah. I don't know why, but staring into a bonfire always seems to calm me down. This island gives me the willies and makes my willy want to curl up and hide. <laughs> Oh my god, this guy is pushing what I didn't know Falcom would even do. But when I stare at this fire, I feel relaxed. More than relaxed, actually. I'm safe. Say Winston would like this guy. That's just you. Oh, well, even if I'm the only one who feels this way, that's okay by me. We've been working hard, and we gotta keep it up for tomorrow, too. Can you believe the audacity of that man we encountered earlier? I tried to speak to him, and he just flat out ignored me. He was rude about it, too. Said his name was... Hummel. I don't know. I don't think he was being rude. Maybe he had somewhere to be. Somewhere to be? We're stranded on a deserted island. Where could he possibly need to be? Yeah, well, there's all sorts of folks here. Like that stuffed shirt, Carlin, you know? Really, the only thing we all got in common is we were on the Lombardia when it sank. Everyone's different, you know? I know we're all different. <laughs> Let's just get some sleep. We got a long day ahead of us tomorrow. <sighs> Time for another Donna dream, I'm sure. Waxia is the only one who talks at night. The maiden has safely arrived at the royal capital. I see. Where is Donna? I hope she's not causing trouble while the maiden is away. Donna has been... cloistered away? Meditating on the maiden's direct orders. I see. I suppose there's no cause for alarm. That child is growing into a beautiful woman, yet she still causes so many problems. I know the other candidates are working hard, but I think Olga will be chosen to be the next maiden. I can see it. An endless expanse of blue sky. Sunlight shining down on the land. A soothing vision. Huh. The animals are... The sky. The forest. Turning bright red. Is this... A scarlet vision? I do have a yawn coming. Oh, uh, nope. I don't know. Uh, it's weird. Oh man, I slept like a log. <sighs> I probably should have said this last night, but you shouldn't yawn in front of people. Huh? Nobles don't do that. No one does that. It's just common sense. At least that's what I think. D don't you agree? I'll just make her feel comfortable. Yawning is rude. Exactly. I think you two are starting to wear away at my common sense. Ah, being a noble old lady sounds pretty tough. 
Either way, Good it's not like it's not like Zahad would feel upset about it anyway. Oh, we get a morning time now. We don't have any. I don't have that resin, right? And I couldn't do that. Shit, what am I looking for? Some kind of resin. Oh, I have seven of that now. How did I do that? My turn now. Let's go. Yes. Oh, either way. Um, no, no. Remember your fast travel. Go to base. Um, not the captain. Oh yeah, I should talk to the sister. Castaway Village. I sense no presence of beast here. Truly, this place is a peaceful place. This land must be blessed with God's protection. Hmm. I must fulfill my duty as a sister. If it's not a bother, would you offer up a prayer with me? If you do, I believe it will help us all escape the island safely. I'd have no problem doing that. I should go see the little, uh, whatchamacallit, that shoe bill up here. See how she doing. I need something. A grand angle. Very satisfied. Oh. Could have been better. So, I think it was Dogi who needed this. Awesome. Looks like you found the lactin resin I needed. Thank you, now I can get to work. You know more about boating than just getting tossed overboard, right? <laughs> this is great timing. Wanna help me build this? I like how you kind of got to work for, like, the Bonnie events in this game. Alright, let's get started. First, we gotta process the lumber. Adol, pick up that wog. That'll be good for making a boat out of. Which wog do you pick? Oh, shit. The one would be good for making a boat out of. I think the one with many knots. Oh. A pony of knotted wood is much more likely to sink. Now we gotta cut the wood into beans. I figure we'll need around 12 or 13. It's gonna be a tough job, but I know the two of us can get it done. You know, honestly, it's probably better that Adol said that wrong, considering how bad his luck is with boats. <laughs> Looking good so far. We're about to get ready to assemble in the hall. Which part will you assemble first? Well, you gotta get the frame put together. No, that'll just make things tougher in the long run. The keel's at the bottom of the boat, so we gotta start from there. The next step is the most important, so we gotta be extra careful, Adol. I hope you don't lose anything for, like, saying these wrong. That took a while, but now we're ready to... We have ourselves a sturdy hull. Wait a minute, it feels like something's missing. What is missing? A figurehead. <laughs> what, do you want to stick a sexy mermaid on the prow or something? But in all seriousness, we forgot to make some oars. We need these to control the boat. Alright, let's grab some wood and start carving. And at long last, Castaway Village's small boat was finally complete. I know nothing of boats. <laughs> that was way harder than I thought it'd be, but at least we finished building it. <laughs> She's small, but seaworthy. Yeah, I definitely feel more hopeful knowing we have a boat. And on top of that, Captain Barbaros is planning to use this to get a better feel for the tide. That's definitely going to help us escape the island. Thanks for the help, Adol. This is for you. We still got a long road ahead, so let's face it together. 